welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. Sorry I keep looking up at the viewfinder thing because uh, this is my first proper video. So I'm going to try and keep looking at the lens. But anyway, I am going to do a tutorial on this look here. Very simple, just mainly focusing on skin and a little bit of lip gloss. It's basically just an everyday look. Um, so if you want to keep watching and find out how I did it, please do and subscribe down below. Thanks Welcome for Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first makeup tutorial on YouTube using my camera. Um, I've been wanting to do this for ages but I just honestly couldn't figure out the camera settings and how to edit it and all that. So the sun's out. I've no um, ring light yet so I said I'd try and use natural daylight today. Um, so yeah. Just let's get right into it, I suppose. Sorry. Um, my name is Lorraine O'Connor. Uh, well, no, I'm Lorraine Fitzgerald now, sorry. I recently got married and I'm still trying to get used to being... have a different surname, basically. So I'm a makeup artist and a blogger from Killarney, County Kerry. Um, if you want to give me a follow and subscribe down below, you can. I'd very much appreciate it. Um, so basically, I wanted to do this for ages, like makeup tutorials and stuff on YouTube, but I had no camera and I had no laptop. So then I bought the two of them and I basically took ages to figure out how to work the camera and how to edit a video. So, so here I am now. Um, sorry, I'm just fixing the camera. So I've no ring light yet, so I'm just using the natural light and I'm gonna do a quick makeup tutorial for you today, just focusing on skin, just for today, just so I can record and edit and see how I get on. And as I go along, I'll get better and I'll make longer, more in-depth videos for you. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with this Flormar Double Radiance Primer. A little bit of it on this brush then. It's an AYU buffer brush. It's one of the best foundation brushes ever. Um, and I'm just going to put it on. I'm just going to use a small mirror here in front of me. Um, I'm going to focus it mainly on the tops of my cheeks, my chin, and the tops of my forehead. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the centre of my face as well, down my nose. As I said, I'm only starting out, so I have no proper backgrounds or anything yet, but I said, look, if I was to wait for all of those things to come, I'd never start recording. So, so now that that's on, I'm just going to go straight in with the LA Girl, wait, now you can't even see that, the LA Girl Pro Conceal Foundation in the shade, no, it's Pro Coverage, sorry, the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I'm going to just go in with the same brush from AYU and I'm just going to buff this into my face. Um, I have two shades of this and I still actually haven't found my shade yet. But look, I will. I think I just need to go up one more shade from this. So I'm just going in with a little bit more of the foundation. just buff it onto my ears and down my neck because I hate that um, white neck look. I don't think any of us like it so make sure you bring it down onto your neck and a little bit onto your ears as well. Nothing major. my foundation on I'm going to go in with this Note Cosmetics full coverage concealer in the shade Ivory yeah and I'm just going in with my Rebeluna R08 brush just to put it on under my eyes and you want to kind of put it on in a triangular motion well no a petting motion in like a triangular shape is what I meant under your eyes and like down the side of your nose in an upside down V basically 
and then just keep working that in, patting it in, never dragging. And just a little bit down the front of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And whatever's left, I just run into my forehead there. Then I just go in with this Be Bold brush that came with the Be Bold contouring palette that I have. And I'm just going in with this Catrice, Catrice Translucent Powder. Just a little bit. And I normally just go in with whatever's on the inside of the lid. And I always pat it off. And I just set under my eyes and down around my nose. Just my forehead and my chin because that's where I get the oiliest so I make sure to set really well there and I leave the rest of my face alone and then I just go in with the same brush and the Be Bold contouring palette and um, I go in with this shade first it's just a bronzing shade just to warm up the skin on both sides um, just around my cheeks my forehead into my temples and under my chin and I actually bring this powder down onto my neck as well because I don't like having a white neck as I said already and then I just go over what I've just done and then I go in with the contour shade a little bit and I just run that under my cheekbones then with the same brush again I go in with the shade Peachy from this Be Perfect and LMD palette it's a blush shade basically I just put a little bit on my cheeks And then with this So Sue by SJ Highlighter Palette and the shade Moon Sparkle, that's what I'm going to use to highlight. I'm going to go in with this small AYU brush, the writing and everything's gone off it so I don't even know what number or anything it is. And I'm just going to put this on the highest points of my cheeks. My nose, sorry, I completely just blocked myself out there. My nose, my cupid's bow, and above my brows. So that's basically what I would do to my skin on a regular I'd day. I'd do this as well if I was going out. But obviously just with more product and I'd probably cream contour and stuff if I was going out but that's just how my skin looks now. Um, I would always go in with MAC Fix Plus spray just like so just to get rid of any of the powdery feeling. I hate that feeling. Um, I'm going to do my brows as well and put on a bit of mascara and a bit of lipstick um, because I can't go around like this. I'm just going in with the Primark, Primark if you're in England, Pennies if you're in Ireland, um, brow sketch in the shade medium. It's just twist up and the other end has a spoolie which is great. I just brush up my brow hairs and then I just draw a line underneath and I just extend the tail of my brow a bit and I just lightly feather upwards draw like false hairs at the front and then I just, I just brush down the hairs then and draw a line parallel to the one I drew underneath and then I just brush everything through just so there's no harsh lines and then I just kind of fill in any sparse areas that's basically it. That's one done. 
and one nap done, like a serious difference. And these brow pencils are only 250, which is amazing. I'm gonna do the other one off camera now and I'll be back in a minute. So I have the other lash or the other brow done and I'm just gonna go in now with the Isadora Stretch Lash in the shade black. And I'm just gonna put on a little bit. I'm going to go in with lip gloss now and that'll be the finished look. I'm, I'm going, going in the shade Pink Ruby from Luna by Lisa Jordan lip gloss. And that's it. There you have my finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any other videos you would like me to do or whatever else just comment down below please and thanks.